I'm just going to fill you in on how I've been lately. So as you can probably see, I'm back at uni. I started the second term now and I am really excited. I am taking this time around intro to script writing, intro to children's literature and writing poetry in the 21st century. So they're all like quite creative-y ones. The only one that's like not really is intro to children's lit but that one is kind of like half and half. The first half you have an essay and you've got to like do a close reading of a kid's book and then the second half you can either do another essay or write creatively. I can make it creatively but the other two are like mainly just producing work and the one I am most excited for right now is script writing. I love it. I never really like thought about writing scripts. The closest I'd come was last year we had to do like a 15 minute play or was it even 15 minutes? Maybe even been like less than that. It was a very short play basically and it was alright. I enjoyed it but that was writing for the stage and this is writing for the screen. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's, I think I'm enjoying it a lot as well because it, it comes under a different group in the university kind of thing. Like all the other modules I take are for like the Englishy side of it. So all of the lectures and stuff I already know from like last year. Script writing, it includes as well the like TV and radio students and those more techie people <laughs> that I don't know. So I don't know any of the lecturers on the course and the lady we have at the moment, Claire, she's really, really nice. I like her. And yeah, I just really like it because it, I feel inspired to write stuff and it's really good. <laughs> Talking of scripts and stuff, this is that's like the loosest segue ever but <laughs> I have recently gotten into EastEnders. I'm not really sure why. I've kind of always watched EastEnders like EastEnders is the soap of our household kind of thing so I've watched it because of that like my mum and Gary are watching it so I never really like properly watched it watched it but now back at uni I'm like oh 7 30 EastEnders is on what am I doing and yesterday in script writing I am um, I can't remember how I ended up talking about EastEnders but I ended up like literally just gushing to my friend <laughs> I feel like everyone's very surprised by that and I'm surprised too but I do really like it what else has been happening I feel like I say that in every single one of these we're doing on videos because I never have a plan. To be honest, the script writing has probably been the thing I've been most excited about at the moment. I'm not sure how successful my reading is going to be this month. I've got to read three YA books on my children's literature course that I've got to read. I've read one of them so far. I'm like just over halfway through the other one and I haven't even started the next one. <laughs> but hopefully I'll get all three of those right this month but then after that I don't know what's happening because script writing hasn't got a reading list, poetry hasn't got a reading list like novels, we've got to read some poems and the rest of the books on children's literature are kids books and I feel like I can't really put those in a reading wrap up like I read a flat Stanley book and Room on the Broom. I feel like this term at university my reading wrap ups are going to be very small. The book I'm currently reading though I just kind of feel uncomfortable whenever I read it. It's called Doing It and it's basically about the sex lives of these 17 year old boys. I don't know, I just, I don't really like it, but I'm powering through. I definitely feel like I cannot read it in public because of the cover, it's literally like a young girl and it just just to her, her underwear and then legs and I'm like, no. <laughs> That's about me at the moment, I think. So I'm gonna be off. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.